Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Children of Mortar with me, Cornish Knight, and my fantastic Canadian co-host, the Fuex. Say hello, the Fuex. Hey ho, once more. Indeed. Let's we see. There's a main story event here. Let's see what's going on. They had no cure for Mary's illness yet, and she was deteriorating. Kevin wanted to know whether the other monks in the monasteries of the forests could be of any help, but Mark had seen many of them slaughtered. The only way was their mission. The trees that carried the medicine must be somewhere in old Barahat. Okay. That's so, about to go about the current mission and such. Yeah. And we've got the corruption is overtaking. Yeah, it's it's overtaken most of the house outside, so we're stuck inside. Um Let's see. We haven't got any money for upgrades. So right into the game it is. Alright, so I should I should have said of course that, you know, perhaps this would be a good time to jump back into like the uh, first dungeon so we can basically like, you know upgrade our character some more. Yeah. So, so I think that's, to... that's what I think we'll do for this episode. We can go What do you want? Silk caverns, lost trenches. Let's go, for, let's go for the first one just for now. I'll try out the new character. Oh, silk caverns, okay. So... Who do you want to take? So... We've had to basically show off, like, you know, the new character, so I'll take Apan. Yeah. I think... Who should I take? I might take Lucy. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. yeah, get Lucy leveled up. And yeah, it's probably basically worth knowing. We basically want to level these characters up and like get the old, like you know, uh, dog house built. That's why we're basically playing the old stuff. Yeah, because we're currently getting I ha not completely had our heads kicked in, but uh, it's it's mu uh, it's pretty nasty. Lucy can suit, can't suit while moving. As she stands, the suit's attack speed and sidewinder begins to emerge from high attacks. Lucy uses mana for some of her abilities. Mana regenerates over time. Okay. Appan is a mid-range warrior. She can take out multiple enemies at once while preferring to keep them at safe distance. Appan uses energy to perform um, her magic glyph, and primary attack fills her energy. So, basically got two sort of magic type of characters. Yeah. And we're both kind of ranged, but you know, that's fine. And he drops a duplicate. Duplicate. I'll note that Quartz already has a little bit of levels on Lucy, but I have none, so we'll see how yeah, uh, just... progresses here. Yeah, let me just. I was just checking. Since I haven't played this character for a long time. Death flow here. That's what uh, Apex is using. It's long, long range, basically attack stuff. So she can hold down the fourth base of everything they see in front of her. Yeah. So, how have things been with you, Dufuax? Uh, roasting. Yeah, I know that feeling. Britain's been on a bit of a 41 degree C we've been having, which is not normal weather for us in the slightest. This is sort of timestamp when we're basically recording, of course, but whatever. Yep. Right here. Yep. 
There's all the other fun stuff like the pub visiting and such like that. Oh yeah, so I had heard that His Holiness was going to Canada. Man, these spiders. I'd forgotten how not... Man, you just insta-killed some... Oh, you had the insta-kill obelisk, that's what it was. Yep. Well, I actually have a, a, a rune that lets me easily skill stuff right now, so... Every so often, Cephalos instantly die. Door here. Chest. Man, lots of healing potions. Yeah, like, we've been having a lot of, of um, high temperatures in Britain. Like, 40, like, up, up into the low 40s, which is, not, which is not common for our country at all. Could be worse. Could be California. Eh, yeah, true. Forgotten how hard the spiders would see sometimes. So I level up there while, well, like, you know, we got that point. Yeah, I think that was you, wasn't it? It was my, like, you know, special ability, I guess, for, like, my right click. Yeah. I basically pushed things back. Really nice, like, cooldown on it, too. Yeah. End of the road. Increased dodge chance. Uh, I'll grab it because my character really doesn't can't afford to get hit. You got to level up. I already leveled up, so I'm good. Okay. Radio. I mean, how do you feel about the DLC character, the one uh, that you're playing? I sort of agree with a lot of people. She's sort of mixed. She basically like fills a niche that like you know wasn't basically like you know played with, but at the same time she's like sort of like eh. Yeah. A lot of characters are better. I mean, right now she looks like awesome because she's basically like, just flattening everything in her way. But you know, once she basically gets to, like you know the higher levels, it's like you know hard to use her. Yeah. But didn't well elite enemy. Oh, they are frozen. Yeah, go on, sealed for you. Yeah. Do you want it? That's better for you. I guess. There's a level up. Yeah. So now I can get, um, basically, up and evades with such force that enemies around her are slowed. Now I basically slow things, maybe basically, like, move around them. This door. Let's open it. Oh, I forgot. She only dodges. Like, her dodge thing is strange. Well, she teleports. Yeah. Which is both good and bad. Good in the fact that nothing can hit you while you're teleporting. Bad in the fact that it's just, like, you know, sort of yeah. to use. Uh, found the boss room. That's nice. And the shop. Also nice. I suppose like probably the, the like you know one thing that sort of like doesn't make sense for like you know Aipan is like how is she basically able to like you know sort of help the Bergsons because she's basically not Bergson herself. Yeah. Because in the in the law isn't it that. The only reason that they can sort of do what they do is because they have like natural resistance or something to the actual corruption because it pretty much kills everybody else. Um, you'll basically see that as you like unfold basically like the final bits, yeah. I guess, like you know, reason. So, yeah, I'll hold off and like tell you why.
we could get something from the shop. Instant heal? Yeah. I mean, we haven't explored much of this floor, to be honest. Nice little clear out the floor, then go to the shop. Get all the goodies, then leave. Another release enemy. Full of traps, I should say. There's a very up here, apparently, so somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, we got goblins. The sight had become painfully all too familiar. The sorrow always hard for the guardian to bear. Not able to save, only to avenge. When all was thought lost. When the struggle was becoming too heavy a burden, a young voice cried out. Stifling his sobs, a small boy spoke of his mother. She was not far away, and returning to her was his only need. Okay. Oh, we you got escort mission. Yeah. I hit. I've actually never seen these because, like, you know, I actually played through this, like, game already, but, you know, I sort of, like, sort of skipped, like, the, this, like, you know, these, like, places here. Well, the thing is that the game is one of those things where it expects you to, to sort of do it multiple times to get through, but if you're good enough at the game, you don't really need to do it. You just, you can just clear each level as you go. that increase movement more below a certain amount of health there we go yeah tears slip down the mother's face in praise of her good fortune, thankful for her son's safe return. And for the briefest of moments, the burden of Mount Morta became lighter upon the hero's shoulder. I'll take that level up. Uh, throw an explosive inflicts lightning damage. Do you want it? Let's see here. It's gonna level up first. Oh, I need one, another point for it, I guess. Yep. Uh, full explosive, but uh, sure, why not? I'll try it. Yeah, it's worth, like, you know, knowing that. Basically, I have, like, played through this entire game, but at the same time, there's aspects to this game that, like, you know, I never actually, like, really encountered because the first, like, levels are, like, you know, if you go through them fast enough, you like, skip a whole lot of content for it. Yeah. But that's that's how a lot of, like a lot of roguelikes like this work. They expect you to sort of do a lot of grinding. But if you're good enough at the game, or just lucky, you can actually dodge a lot of the stuff they expect you to do. Like we even saw it in this game, where we missed certain character intros because they expected us to lose more often than we did. Actually, I think it that's more of a bug, right but whatever. The Bergson thought that this would be one final thing that they could do for the Wolf Cub. Hooray, oh, Cub! We... Yeah, we don't have any nails, though. We still need the nails. There's a door down here we haven't picked up. Oh, no, it's not a door. It's a chest. Also good. Yeah, yeah more money for unlocks. Also good. We... we haven't gone down right at the beginning. We've missed something right at the beginning. One thing I do wish, though, is I wish that if you... Were, one thing I would say about this game is that I wish if you went back to, like, the earlier... Um, like, the earlier levels, like, the difficulty had done them had gone up as, like, the corruption had spread. 
that would be nice, but at the same time, it's like, you know, everything's basically 100% difficult, like, you know, at the time you basically find it, so... Yeah. These guys. Experience! Yeah. I mean, you're gonna level like crazy. My character, not so much. Well, you're at level 6, but you're still probably gonna get a lot of levels here. Challenge room. Not Yay! Room. An object of power, ready to be unleashed. I've already got that. You can have it if you want. <laughs> Why not? That's pretty, much, that's pretty much like her ability. That's everything, so let's teleport. Let's see how hard a Spark King's gonna be. Yeah. Well, we've got our oh, wait, ability. Oh, yeah, so. Let's see what we can get. Sealed of Valor. That's Charm. Increased maximum health. Breathe fire into a cone in front of you. What do you want to get? Max health is nice. Yeah, I might grab the Breath Breathe Fire ability. Because my character has to be sort of kept at range. So having something that I can use when an enemy get up close and personal is pretty good for me. Like when a Spark King, come, King come, jumps on top of you. Yeah. That's what, that was what my thought was. Unfortunately, this character I don't think is going to be great for the Spider King. Because the Spider King really likes to move about. Well, it's not just that. He basically only like you know moves in one, one spot. But, you know, wherever you move, he basically comes to you and like, smashes it down on you. So, Yeah. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Let's go. Is it control or is control for the her rage? I'd forgotten how powerful her overcast was. Dead is the dodo. Easy. Yeah. Let's go help the wolf cat. Yeah. We don't have the nails, though. Oh, well. We can always do it again. Yeah. I must admit, I found wood and nails. Oh, no. There we go. So it did work. City cutscene. Never would a wolf cub live in as nice a house as the one Ben was building. When asked what name to put on the house... Lucy yelled out, Riker! Riker the Wolf Cub! Okay. So that's been added. Where's the Wolf Cub? Now the Wolf Cub's house is overgrown. We saved, uh, we saved the Riker the Wolf Cub. Yeah. Saved Riker the Wolf Cub, Floating Suns, new souvenir added to the Bagans. Boygum's house, okay. Um, because there's normally animal companions that you can pick up, if I recall correctly, but I don't think we have that unlocked yet. Right. Well, we can always go back into like one of the early dungeons again to love people. So, yeah, well, we've got a thousand gold. We can't, we can't actually lo uh, unlock a lot of new stuff with that money, unfortunately. Back in we go then. Uh, let's just check. The only thing we can level up is base, like base damage. Yeah, why not? Get... Yeah. Right here, in we go. I don't think we only have. Let me just check to see if we have any outstanding quests. Um, I can't tell where our quest thing is in this. Cause 
normally it tells you what you have to do for quests. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to go? Where, where do you want to go? Do you want to go back into the first area? Yeah, let's go back into Spider Caverns. Okay. Do you want to go to Spider Caverns, Lost Trenches? Yep. First one again. Just to sort of keep it simple. Yeah. Okay. And let's see here. I got eight pound of level three. I really want to join once more. Just trying to get up to level eight. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do Lucy again because I got her up to level seven right at the end. One more level then to get up the late. Yeah, to get her to get the family unlock. Okay, let's see what I can get for her. I'm not sure how Joy will basically perform down here, but hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, so I can't see she can't upgrade anything yet, okay. Let's go and have a look, see. I don't think there's anything that we need to get, like, item-wise, I don't know. Oh, I'm not even sure I'm hitting anything. I gotta admit, I'm not that impressed with that character. He's basically a big, you know, hunking, like, you know, Guy, basically, so to speak. He's the Hulk. Yeah. It's luck. What's in here? A not so innocent game of chance and memory. Oop. Not that one. Okay, let's try this one. Yep. Okay, then let's try this one. Nope. So it was the middle one here. Uh, try the far one. Nope. Okay. That was an easy way to do My this money now. is Whee! this one. Nope. So at least another combination now. It's this one. Then ah, oh. I can't. Oh, I'll come remember which one it was now. My brain stopped working. I got it for next time, man. Yeah. So it's that one. Boom. That one. Boom, that boom. one, that one, yeah, there we go. Uh, create totem knocks back enemies. Primary attack deals increased number of gemstones possessed. I'm going to grab the totem because the totem one is really good for my character because I need to keep enemies at a distance. I guess I'll just like um, pulverize things to get their gemstones out. Yeah, let me just grab the health ball bottle. I've got to say, Lucy is very much a glass cannon. She is, but she's like, you know, a very powerful glass cannon. Yeah. You look at Joey here and he's like, you know, meh. Yeah. I've got to say, I'm not impressed with Joey. Level seven. <laughs> Do 
door up here. <laughs> None of evil intent could pass such a barrier. Uh, whatever you want, dude. It doesn't I'll really take a sure. It does. It basically reduces our cooldown for like you know your tornadoes and stuff like that. But uh, then again, do you want to use your tornadoes that much? Nah. My tornado, I hardly ever use the thing. Are we done the level? Yeah. Right, yo. Yeah, my plan is to get Lucy up to level 8, which will then unlock her family ability. Which I think will be a good one, I have to check. Uh, family ability. Family members gain Lucy's ability runes. Yeah, that's not too bad, but not fantastic. Same for like Joey, basically. Or actually, it's a little bit different, so... Joey appears when his family members are surrounded by a horde of enemies to perform his whirlwind three minutes to cool down. You know, I'm actually attempting to get this guy up to level 9 just so you can see the, the whirlwind ability. Because it just basically, like, you know, tells you, like, you know, this guy's basically based off the barbarian from Diablo 2. Yeah. But the barbarian was fun, and this guy isn't. It's just that he lacks so much range and mobility. Yeah. In a game where you really have to have mobility. This is the thing that I find a bit strange, which is that you'd think they'd make all the, they'd make all the classes relatively equal when it came to appeal, but some of them are just much, much better than others. Yeah, but it's more so the fact that, like, you know, they can only do so much, right? Yeah. And it's not like they have to bounce it for, like, you know, a PVM game, so to speak. Yeah, true. Decrease jumps from drop, increase morph drop. Uh, morph is it's useful now when we're doing like stuff like this where the gems aren't that vital for us. Ooh. This was Grandpa Adam's journal of his adventures. He writes about how he and a friend went after a missing caravan. Is that Grandpa? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Is this so wish... Grandpa's pretty big? Yeah, I do wish that um like like, I like Child Children of Mortar a lot, but there are things about it I wish we just, we just were better. I mean, like, environment had to do less damage. Yeah, okay. Um, my One of my issues that I have with it is just that, like, there's no need for you to, like, the lore is not important. Like, let's, like, putting old jokes aside, like, you don't need to, like, really read the lore to know what's going on in the world. You can just play this, the main game, and the game itself tells you what's sort of happening. Which is nice and fun and cool and all, but at the same time, it would be nice if, like, the lore actually had purpose. If you know what I mean. Yeah, but they may have just done that because, like, you know, it was cooperative and yeah. one person did not care. What the? Oh, it's we've got a time thing up down here if you're interested. Time thing? Uh, follow the bird quest. Oh yeah, the uh, bird. Let's go after him, sure. Yeah. 
Bellagio the Odd sought another game of cat and bird. I just remember, we just had to follow the footprints. Down here. We hope. Further she fled. Deeper into the depths she moved. She was caught! There's her uh, egg. You only get... Oh, you only got an egg. That's basically carried go... over, by the way. Yeah, I know. You want to go out into the room and clear this area? Sure, why not? Look at all those lovely rares to kill. Oh, I forget. I forgot you. Oh, you can actually super. That's good. I don't get experience for it, so don't I need we? to come out. Well, I don't get experience. I don't know about you. Oh, you This guy. I'm doing this purely for the money. Like the the Merv is going to be useful because it allows us just to upgrade everything. Ah, here we go. So for those basically wondering, it's like, you know, these are primary attacks that, like, you know, have ruins basically of other characters. Yeah, uh, you, you got it, did you? Basically, it'll, every, so, every so often you see me, like, you know, launch mark primary attack whenever I, like, you know, attack things. Man, that, that, I've forgotten how annoying those saddle blokes were. They are annoying indeed. Yeah. Another rune. Okay. Do we get everything? Uh it's first from yes. So what was that dude I didn't quite hear? Oh, another elite enemy. Nearly leveled up just a little bit more. That's good. Like literally, like a massive spawning of enemies happen. I may have to pop my ultra. Level up. Hooray! Uh, let's see what I can get. Decay, Guardian Rage. Um, 
Oh, okay, these guys actually summon guys. Yeah. Did not know that. I gotta boost up her, her rage ability to get it to unlock the next stage. Yeah, so I've unlocked her next ability and I powered up her rage mode. Hooray! Well, her rage mode is really powerful. Like, we get it. I, that's why I'm hoarding it for the boss, because literally I'm waiting. I think we can just leave. Uh, we have to actually go for the door. Okay. Um, right. What time is it? Okay. I'm going to put a cut in here to throw access. Let's get to the exit. All right. Yeah. All right, yo. Thank you all, guys. I shall see you all next time. I've been Cornus Knight. This has been my co-host, Quax. Yo, yo. I shall see you all again next time. Good. Take care, Bye. all. Bye.